how good is my memory? I'd say pretty good. It's excellent. I'm not sure. My memory is pretty good. In a scale from 1 to 10, it'll be uh, probably between 7 and 8. Uh, I'd say like an 8. Uh, maybe a 7. For things that I want to remember, it's great. <laughs> Usually I remember things that are worse, like bad memories, better than good memories. I'm serious. I can tell you 1985, the day my brother was born, going through the airport in, in to the international airport. We were coming from Ethan Butler. I remember that day vividly. My earliest memory is that of my grandmother's uh, warm hands as she were feeding me probably. So that I remember. Yeah, I just remember riding an elephant and uh, I remember the clown cars riding around and um, yeah, it was definitely like a circus. <laughs> my earliest memory is when I was two years old. When my grandfather put out a dollar bill and a hundred dollar bill, and I was maybe two and a half, three years old, and he said I could pick either one, and he kind of pulled the hundred dollar bill back, and so I knew that one was the, the better one, and I took that one, and he was very upset and said he wasn't playing that game ever again. I don't remember what I bought with it, but I know, I know I was very excited to get it just because he was mad. Nobody was watching, and I climbed out of my crib, and I walked out the front door, and I walked down the street, and um, a man found me, and he was taking me to all the houses along and asking me if I belonged there. I remember Timothy Academy. I remember 4th and Lehigh. I remember seeing a woman drop in Church's Chicken, and nobody paid attention to her. And I remember all the pills falling out of her bag. Of course, my family was frantic, and they jumped on a delivery truck and, and went riding all around, and they spotted me. And all's well that ends well. But I, I remember them crying, and I remember, I remember the man asking me my address and my not telling him. Those are the things I remember. And then going home to Ethan Butler, I remember my mother, she would do this. She would put, every time we came home, she would put her hand over my eye as so I don't see what was going on. Just being uh, homeless with my mom, going from, you know, staying in different places. Uh, I would think I was about two, three years old.
Blair is 650 volts inbound. Still on the fastest route. September 11th, I was at the gym. Yeah, I was in fifth grade at the time. I was actually down uh, downtown at the gallery. Um, I was at my college. Well, I was a graduate student at Notre Dame University pursuing a degree in international peace studies. 
I was in the middle of a uh, depression, I would say. I was watching Hercules. It was silly. So I was with my wife at the time. We were in bed. And then it was interrupted, and I seen a pl the plane hit the tower, and I said, man, that guy's drunk. How could he be drunk to hit that tower? I remember turning the television on, and I believe it was the second plane. They actually got footage of it going into a building, and I called my mother up immediately, and I said to my mother, I, I don't know if, like, Die Hard is on or what's going on. I thought it was, like, a movie. What the hell is going on? Is the world coming to an end? Uh, a lot of the kids thought that it was uh, planes crashing into each other. I remember my father, he called the racetrack. He said, are you still, you guys still doing races, live broadcasting or anything? And they're like, sir, do you know what's going on today? I mean, he, he's, he's like, they're from Puerto Rico. As a foreigner in the United States, uh, I was a little bit aloof from what was going on around me because I was dealing with personal issues. So I could observe shock and as well as pain in the eyes of uh, people uh, surrounding me. I remember people jumping out of buildings it was such a prevalent news story that you could have turned on the Home Shopping Network and it would have had 9-11 footage. When I seen the other plane getting close to hit the tower, I knew I was gonna be deployed because I was in the United States Navy at the time. So, I mean, but nobody was scared at all. So like, you know, I was surrounded by SEALs and Marines. Everyone, that's our JFK, our generation's JFK. And I was incredulous and I immediately got in touch with my daughter at school. I wanted to go pick her up. She was out in the suburbs. And I remember thinking that maybe the world was coming to an end. A couple days later, I left to go to my first tour of duty to Afghanistan. And I remember everyone being very, very highly f on fire, like fire. No one was scared at all. We were very upset, very angry. Since the September 11th, we had a number of uh, traumatic uh, events on a planetary level, right? We had several wars. There's been so many plagues that have been happening, you know, from COVID and tornadoes and floods and... Things really gotten bad, I would say. And now with the war in Ukraine, it's part of this larger trend, you know, of terrorism as well as retaliation against things. But when I see people that are like not dressed or not eating, it, I'm not, like in my, in my heart, I'm not doing too well. I want to help everyone, but I don't have the means, the funds to help everyone. Biggest uh, mistakes that we make is that we keep repeating the same paths uh, of uh, warmongering people. So maybe forgiveness would be a lesson. Learning that forgiveness is a way to heal wounds and start a new way of uh, seeing things.
I want to be remembered as somebody that helped impact a lot of lives. A caring person who's into music, pretty much. <laughs> um. I, I tell my husband all the time that the most magnificent and quiet grace is to just be a good parent. I would like to be remembered as someone who's kind and understanding and giving and takes care of others, and a good mother, a good wife, good dog mom. Yeah, I guess as a friend, you know, most people who, who would actually remember me, <laughs> right? <laughs> I think I really just want to be remembered as being a good mother and being like really attentive to my kids and enjoying every second. And that's pretty, I mean, everything else is like so ephemeral that that's really all you have, being a good parent as someone who contributed to peace on earth. Oh my God. I would like to be remembered as one who's faithful to our creator. Okay, you ready for the nunchucks now? I'm ready for the nunchucks, yeah, let's see. So, okay. <laughs> 